What up, everybody? Everybody? What's up, everybody? <laughs> All right, guys, it's Technique Tuesday time. We're going to talk about Dominic Reyes versus John Jones. Very controversial fight. John Jones was pressuring. Dominic Reyes was hitting, you know, probably he was kicking, he was punching, uh, he was moving. I think I thought he landed or he struck a lot more than John Jones did. I know John Jones ended up taking him down, but Reyes got right back up, shook, shook him off. Anyway, very controversial fight. Leave in the comments down below who you thought won that fight this past Saturday. That's how we say it down here, Saturday. Anyway, we're going to be discussing the oblique kick, a.k.a. what would Dominic call it? Dominic calls it the knee probe. I think that sounds more like what it is than the oblique kick, like the oblique. Like, where's the oblique? Your obliques are here, right? So why would they call it oblique kick? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to call it the oblique, a.k.a. probe kick. So let's talk about the oblique kick, a.k.a. the knee probe. John Jones is very good at it, and I think he's good at it because he's very, very long. He's a lot longer than most guys in that 205 division. I mean, Dominic Reyes, they were pretty much the same size, but uh, John Jones has legs for days. So it, it plays a really effective to keeping somebody at bay, keeping them apart, get it, keeping them thinking. Um, for somebody who's had it done to him before, it's kind of irritating, and to be honest, I don't like it. But um, I ended up tearing my MCL. I know there's a few guys out there who's torn their ACLs doing it, I think. Rampage did it, ended up tearing his ACL for with a, a bleed kick. And John Jones' last fight, Thiago Santos destroyed, I'm pretty sure, both knees from those oblique kicks. I don't like throwing them just because, you know, when you're going out there in the fight game, yeah, you're trying to injure your partner, you're trying to, or you're trying to, to beat your partner, you know, obviously injuring them, knocking them out, whatever, but I'm not looking to permanently injure somebody. You know what I'm saying? Even though it could happen, you know, a head kick, very rarely does that happen, but uh, I think that oblique kick is, is um, I just don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to permanently injure my guy. Y'all know my history with knee injuries. I've got four on my left, two on my right, complete ACL and all the CL tears. 40% of my meniscus is gone. So, you know, when it comes to knee injuries, I felt them and it, it doesn't feel good. So let's get in this. I'm going to call upon, you know, I haven't called him out here in a while. Sweet tea! <laughs> Tony's. You still got it. You still have it. It's been a while. I know. I can tell, but you landed like a pro. Yeah. You moved kind of like, like, you, like you, you moved kind of like me. It's like riding a bike. Yeah. If you haven't done it in a while, you, you know, it's pretty Hop easy. Hop back on. Right. You, you just, just land it, you know? Mm -hmm. You just get yeah. back on the seat and get out there and pedal it and right back into it, man. That was pretty good. I'm proud of you. Thanks, man. All right, sweet tea. So give me your thoughts real quick on what you thought that oblique kick or the knee probe uh, went this weekend. I mean, they were both throwing it, right? Well, John Jones started throwing it heavy right off the bat because Reyes was super aggressive, like instantly. Dude, I know. Literally can't... bell rang and he like sprint at John Jones. So wasn't ready for that. That's a go-to kick to, like you were talking about, keep separation to get your partner thinking about it. You know, when it comes yeah. to our joints and stuff, especially me coming from a football background, anytime people got near my knees, Mentally, that was like a front, like a scary, frustrating, made me hesitate. So he really employed that, I believe, to try and keep Reyes at and, bay. And Reyes, he he, he worked the uh, the kick as well, but he also did it in a different way. He uh, mm -hmm. used the back leg, using the inside of the foot, which was yep. pretty interesting. We're gonna talk about both real quick. So Oof. let's get into it. All right, so uh, real quick. All right, there's a few different ways to use a bleed kick. I remember when Till was using it against me, Masvidal too, which Masvidal like. He used it more of like, hey, stay away, stay away. He wasn't really trying to crush my knee. He was tapping my knee. Uh, Till was literally trying to fold my knee backwards. That's how I ended up tearing my MCL. A few ways you can do it. Number one, you don't have to turn as sideways. It's just lifting the leg up, almost like you're gonna just throw a lead leg round kick, and it's a real quick touch to the knee. So for instance, um, George Mazadal, he used the tip of his toes, just like, you know, stay away. You know, stay away. They'll either hit the thigh or in some cases, they'll go straight for the knee. So not what supposed that, to. Not supposed to, but you can use the toes just to kind of like, you know, get this guy distracted, not really trying to injure him, but just say, hey, you know, stay away, you know, stay away. And you can use it as a fake. So you'll throw the bleed kick, pop, pop, and use 
set it down to use your hands. You're gonna go for the KO. So that's against a really aggressive guy. Then you have the oblique kick or knee probe where you're just really trying to injure the guy, like fold the knee backwards. This one, I feel like they, they're a little bit more sideways. So it's almost like a, a straight up side kick. All right, so almost just like a side kick, body a little bit more bladed because you get a little more power because you're engaging the glute with this. You have to get a little bit more chamber and they'll side kick that knee. Boom, just like so. A lot of guys, if you time it right with their legs straight, that's when you can kind of really do the damage. And they're not the same after that. So you got the tip of the toe, whoop, you know, stay away, hey, pop, pop, set it up with your hands. And you got the John Joe's like, walk out. When you're really trying to destroy the guy, destroy the knee. Dominic Reyes used it, used it a little bit differently, and there's another guy who used it this way as well, but he'll use it to the hip, and that is Lorenz Larkin. If you ever watch this guy, man, he's amazing. He'll use that back leg to the hip as well. When he fought Neil Magny, I'm pretty sure he knocked Neil, Neil Magny down a lot. with it to the hip. Yeah. So it's done with the back leg. Now with this, I got my, my, my fighting stance, and I'm not really, Turning my body straight ahead, I'm just kind of, you don't want a big telegraph when you do it. So that's why you see a lot of guys not turning going, hey, I want to stomp your knee. So they'll keep their body bladed sideways and they'll use the inside of the foot. They'll go to the knee or they'll even go to the hip with it, which really drives the hips back. So three ways, three different ways. One, you got the toes, Mazidal style, just kind of staying away. Then you got the John Jones style, where you just like, boom, really get that body turned sideways and boom trying to really stab at that knee. Now, I'm pretty sure the target is above the knee, correct? But a lot of these guys are going directly to the knee. So I feel like, you know, if they're gonna allow, it to allow them to throw it, make sure it's at the right target. So you got lead leg, and then you have the back leg, monsoon style and Reyes style. Not really turning the body straight ahead, kind of sideways, inside stomp, using the bottom of the foot, either to the leg, to the quad, or to the hip driving the hips back. So you saw that a lot this weekend. There's a lot of other guys out there that love to do it. And it's tough to kind of get around, you know what I'm saying? You really gotta know what you're doing because if you're too aggressive and you walk forward, you're gonna run right into the knee, which is gonna hyperextend that leg and you're gonna, it's not gonna be the same. You're gonna be going downhill from there. So not only does it affect you physically, but it also affects you mentally. Especially when you got somebody throwing that a lot, it keeps you from coming forward. You don't wanna put a whole lot of weight on that front foot and you can't get a whole lot of power because you're afraid that knee's gonna be attacked. So it does play a big part physically and mentally in the game. So there you have it guys, the oblique kick or the knee probe. The knee probe. <laughs> <laughs> They're probing the knee. They were probing each other out there. A lot of probing. Yeah, a lot of probing thing. going on, you know? <laughs> All right, anyway, thank you, Sweet Tea, for coming out here and hanging out with thank us today. By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, but fresh in our own, my man got his own Sweet Tea tea, baby. Looks just like Looks me. just like you, man. You're Jack. You got the big arms, you know, and bow staff on your back. You should, I think you should start Always. And when you guys see me in real life, that's what not in front of the camera, this is what this is what that's I what he wears. You know, it's my attire. Yeah, yeah. With the with, with the, the shoes, kung, the kung, fu, kung shoes, fu shoes, you know, kind of like the DBs, like Dragon Ball Z wear, mm -hmm. but blue. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But they don't know the 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 wrist. They're actually wrist weights. So they're about what 50, 50 pounds yeah. a piece. Fifty kilos. Fifty kilos. All right, but anyway, go get your merch, guys. Get your Sweet Tea t-shirts. Get your Wonder Boy t-shirts. Thanks for coming out, hanging out with us today. Probe kick, guys, or oblique. I don't know why they call it oblique, but anyway, oblique kick. Worked great this past weekend. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And we just had uh, our, our first uh, seminar, man. This past fun. weekend. Colorado. In Denver, Colorado. We had a good time, man. But anyway, if you guys want me to down with you, if you want us to come out, show you guys some really cool stuff, make sure you contact this guy. It'll be in the link in the description. So check it out, guys. S -s -s Subscribe right now. Comments down below who you thought won this fight this past weekend. Ring that bell to let you guys know when that next video will be up. See ya.